big congratulations as we look forward to next month and the Olympics to a pair of figure skaters who have actually trained for a long time in the North Texas area. Ashley Kane and Timothy LaDuke are going to the Olympics, which is so exciting. And Timothy LaDuke is said to become the first openly non-binary athlete to compete at a Winter Olympics. So that's something that you'll, you're going to be hearing more about. Um, here, here's what was said. My hope is that when people see my story, it isn't focused on me and saying, oh, Timothy is the first out non-binary person to achieve, achieve this level of success in sport. Um, he said that during a news conference, his hope is that the narrative shifts more to queer people can be open and successful in sports. So that's what he's hoping the message is there. Yeah, I moderated a panel with them on eating disorders actually right at the very beginning of March 2020. Like right, it was must have been the last event. Must have been right on the cusp. Yeah, exactly. And, and we were talking about eating disorders in sports specifically. And I just didn't know what to expect from them. Um, I hadn't I hadn't met them before and both of them were so remarkable with the high level of thinking that they had as it related to eating disorders in sports. They had both been through, you know, a lot during their young lives and it was so impressive to hear them speak out. This is often something that I think athletes do after the fact, right? They say, yes, I'm non-binary after the fact or yes, you know, I've struggled with an eating disorder after the fact, but they're in the thick of it, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're at the height of their careers and still taking time to talk about mental health and to pour into others and to talk about their current struggles and I think it's very impressive. And let's be honest, when you do that in the moment and the, the world is watching you to perform, um, we know the stigma is attached to those sorts of things where totally. people judge you and say, well, that seems like a liability. That seems like they don't have it fully together. Totally. That's a, and that's why people don't share openly and fully what they're experiencing especially when the world is watching and they're in a competition like this. So yeah, that is pretty impressive. So had they themselves had an eating disorder related to pressure in sports to be in shape of a certain weight, of a certain physicality, they, a body uh, image dysmorphia? They both, to different extents, spoke about just the pressure to look a certain way in figure skating and in athletics, mm -hmm. right? And for, you know, for the lifts for Ashley and for Timothy to be, you know, strong enough and to have this sort of masculine identity, but still be um, almost balletic in his movements. It's a very tough thing to balance and he does it really well, but they both spoke about how nutrition, the, the balance of nutrition to disordered eating is it's just such a thin line. Yeah, it really is. Like an obsessive, it doesn't mean we're talking, you know, that you're anorexic or bulimic. There are a range of, right, yes. uh, on the spectrum of eating yes. disorders. And are you obsessed with food to the point where it's ruling your life? Exactly. And when you get off that plan, there's guilt, there's shame, there's mm -hmm. all those things. So, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Just much love and support to them. And, you know, especially Timothy, I think it's got to be a unique position to be in where everyone's talking about wow, you, you achieved this big accomplishment, but then all the headlines are about him being non-binary. He's going to be getting a lot of questions and, and about people that. Who and still it's a lot to shoulder. Yeah, and people who still don't quite understand what all of that means, trying to wrap their of head course. around it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. 